Hello again. Thanks for choosing us. To our first story now, the Enchi Magistrate Court, presided over by His Worship Eric Ba Boatin, has remanded into police custody the couple who beat their four-year-old daughter to death for bedwetting. The Enchi District Police arrested the couple on Thursday. According to the police, Francisca Etute, who was made to sit on hot water, also broke her arm due to the beating. The suspect, Ifa Donaldson, 34, and Salome Oteku, 27, are said to have caned the deceased till she fell unconscious. Speaking to Joy News, the NG Police Divisional Commander, ACP Henry Bacho, said the couple subsequently rushed their daughter to the Wayne Community Clinic. However, Francisca died while receiving treatment. Had information that uh, the couple named Salome Etute and uh, Daniel Efa, they beat their, their four year daughter and she fell unconscious. And then she was rushed to the Aoi Community Clinic at New York Castle. While she was treating treatment, she passed on. But the couple decided to go and hide. They put it in their room, covered with a jambo leaves, expecting to bury the, to bury the, 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 the child in the night. So when we had the information, we went there and it was true. So we picked them together with the body to each. The body is deposited at the government hospital in the Egypt here. And the, the husband and the wife are in our custody for investigation. We heard from the, 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 the suspects was that okay, the diseased girl used to urinate in the night and they tried to punish her by using hot water. She sat on hot water. Then that one doesn't serve them right. And they whipped her and broke her arm. And then it was. She was right, and she felt unconscious. She was right to the hospital, a uh, wing community hospital at New Piacasi, where she died. ACP Bacho also noted a team was deployed to pick up the suspect for interrogation. Meanwhile, the body has been deposited at the Enchi Government Hospital for autopsy. The suspect are to reappear in court on January 24, 2022. Let's go on to the phone lines now. We're joined by the Executive Director of Child Rights International, Bright Apia. Mr. Apia, thank you for joining us here on Join News Prime. Uh, such a worrying story there for you, uh, Child Rights International. These stories uh, are, are ones that break your heart and you indeed uh, go to talk about the institutional failures. Is this one that you see that institutions have failed to, to, to address? Well, yes, the uh, family system has failed to address this particular issue, and then also the the level of uh, awareness that we need to create uh, for people to know that you cannot take a child for granted. Uh, for that matter, uh, you need to be very circumspect when you are dealing with a child. We failed in that aspect also. Because when you live in a state where people commit certain offenses that are grievous in nature, and knowing very well that there are laws that protect the interests of children and still people go to the extent of doing that, then it means that uh, we've not been able to let people have that understanding that the state itself is behind the protection of children. Mm. So to that extent, yes, uh, the family system fails. Uh, uh, institutions that have been mandated by law to protect the interests of children are also filled in this direction. How would you recommend that this, these things are addressed, uh, seeing that uh, in some of the cases you see a clear case of frustration on the part of the parents, even though in some cases it is not quite clear what may have necessitated those actions. How do you suggest we, we deal with this? First, we need to let people have a, a clear understanding of uh, children's makeup and their developmental stage so that they would appreciate children when they are growing and certain things that they don't have control over when it happens. And certain things that you cannot also use punishment as a means of stopping it because it, it is biological and it's psychological.
So that understanding must be there for people to know how best to provide care for children. Again, there are a lot of things that uh, happen in the family system because we have a very close family system. So things happen to children within the family system. Uh, either people decide not to intervene or they have no knowledge of what is happening. So it is important that we look at having a policy that opens up the system so that the state can direct the extent to which people can provide a parenting for, for children so that where there is abuse, uh, the state can easily come in to deal with those issues. So uh, opening up of the family system is very, very critical because if you don't do that, the sum of these things will keep happening to children and parents to have understanding that it is my child. Therefore, whatever I want to do to the child, I can do so without any interference from anybody, else, uh, even from government and all that. So once we are able to do this, I think that uh, it, it will open up our social safety net and strengthen it so that uh, people will not just take advantage of children. In terms of the justice system, would you recommend uh, any other uh, punitive measure aside custodial sentences for persons who uh, f you know, come in, in these situations who flout the law? Well, if you look at the history of, uh, of our justice system, especially issues that relate to children, uh, the court has set up a certain precedent that they don't really uh, play with matters that relate to children. So they have proven themselves in terms of issues that come to, before them that relate to children. So we expect that the history that they've established they would also be strengthened and deepened so that when matters of this nature come, they will look at all, all, all uh, others involved and then make sure that they give, they give a, a ruling that will be deterrent enough for people to stop uh, 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 committing some of these grievous offenses against uh, children. Mr. Pia, I'm grateful for your time. That's uh, Brighter Pia, Executive Director of Child Rights International.